It can be so overwhelming shopping for your kids for Christmas and knowing what to get. So I decided to do the five gift rule this Christmas and it made it so much easier. Five gift rule is where you buy your kids something they want, something they need, something to wear, something to do or learn, and something to read. Then I like adding a sixth one, so I guess six rules. But the last one is to do something to share, something I get them that they share. I'm gonna share with you what I got my twin boys. They're five years old, and hopefully it will like help explain the five gift rule a little bit easier. So this is what they're getting from Santa. So my first twin, Everett, he really wanted a transformer. So this is the want gift that he wanted. The other twin, Marshall, He's five years old. He saw this in the the um, Target magazine and he can't stop talking about it. And we went to the arcade yesterday and he's like obsessed with claw machines. So this is what I'm getting him and he's gonna be so excited. The next gift rule is something they need. And I've noticed they've been collecting like quarters and coins around the house. So I thought it would be fun to get them their own little piggy bank. And I thought this was fun cause it's all clear and they can decorate it with stickers. Um, and just start teaching them about saving money. So I thought that was a good need. The next rule is to get something to wear. And usually, you know, I try to think of something that they really need, but lately we do uniforms at school, so they don't really need new clothes. And I've already, they've already had like all their winter stuff. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a fun wear um, since they are obsessed with Chip and Dale and we were Chip and Dale for um, the Rescue Rangers for Halloween. So yeah, you should click below and see our Halloween pictures. They were so stinking cute. So we've been obsessed with Chip and Dale and I found these on Amazon, you guys. I can't believe it. So they are going to freak. The next gift rule is something to read. I ordered them the Bluey Christmas book set and it still hasn't come in the mail, but they love Bluey, so I thought I would get them some Bluey books. As I'm editing this video, I totally forgot I didn't mention Yodo cards, which is a great option for the read roll and perfect for stocking stuffers. If you don't know what a Yodo card is, it goes with the Yodo player, which is a screen-free audio player that will do books and stories, and they have tons of different cards. It's my number one recommendation for a gift for your kids if you don't have one. Um, I have a full review video in the link right here and um, you can learn more about that. The next rule is to give them something to learn or do. This is like hands-on, like Play-Doh, um, kinetic sand, something to get their brain working. And I truly think Legos falls under that category because they have to follow instructions. I think Legos are awesome. So I got them this Lego set and I got them the Costco one with like the car garage. I already wrapped it. <laughs> so I didn't want to unwrap it to show you, but um, Legos are such a good one. So that's what I decided to give them. Another learn or do um, puzzles. We love puzzles and I got this Pokemon Christmas puzzle at Walmart. Actually, all of this was just $10 for Black Friday. Um, everything is linked below, obviously, but we I just love puzzles. They get your brain working. I added on a rule, so technically it's six rules, and it's something to share. I love getting them one big present that they can share and play together, and I really love encouraging um, pretend play using your imagination. So I thought instead of just giving them a toy that I would give them, um, they're still into like pretend play. And when I saw this in the magazine, I just was like, I have to have it cause I'm a huge Disney lover. So I got the Disney snack cart. I'm gonna get this lemonade stand and turn it into like a carnival type of thing because the Melissa and Doug sale during Black Friday was absolutely insane. Save this for like $10 and normally I swear it's like 70. Just the snow cone machine. I also got the popcorn machine for $8, you guys. I couldn't believe it. And then I got this for a crazy good deal too. So I thought it'd be fun to do like snack cart, carnival, all set up for them. And then the last was this vending machine. I also got for a really good deal. That's the only reason I am giving them so much for this share gift because I just got really good prices on all of these. I just love encouraging pretend play 
and I feel like you know they're five and I probably have just like a couple more years of them really enjoying that but I'll set out like a carnival Christmas morning as their big share gift and I think you're gonna really love it I hope this helps your holiday shopping and as always the links are in the description below and you can head over to my blog to learn more about the five gift rule and I just hope this helps you make things less stressful and easier shopping for your kids this Christmas.